Hello friends and welcome to Cell Exploit. Recently you have changed the name of our channel in order to find it more search friendly. Uh, but I could not uh, keep it up uh, with my commitment that I will be coming, out, uh, coming up with a regular kind of uh, content at every month. Because in last two months I was professionally held busy and uh, the lots of assignment was there pending at my desk. And I had to finish them off by any means. So sorry friends, uh, sorry for not keeping the promise up. And uh, in this uh, period of two months, I have received a tons, uh, not tons, I will say a lot of mail uh, from my dedicated viewers uh, for reasoning out of absence. Uh, at the same time, I would say that I, my sincere apologies to all my fans out there. Uh, whatever the little fan base I have managed to acquire within this, this period of time. I know uh, the channel channel could have uh, been much uh, progressed by this time, but it is my uh, it is a lacking from my side which is which has forced uh, the thing uh, going in a slower way. Friends, let us not discussing uh, about the reasons that I have gone through in the last two months and let's focus the uh, focus on one of the interesting topic of today. Actually, in my recent assignment, what happened, uh, we had to visit some place and where we had got limited tools and we have been tasked to find out the, uh, we have been tasked for an incident reporting kind of thing. And uh, since, we are, since we are not having any special, specialized tool uh, during that particular visit, so we just uh, went there as an extempo and we used one of the popular open source tool uh, with the permission of uh, the respected company. Uh, we downloaded the tool and we find out uh, the things, we trained the staff over there. So in this video, I'll be bringing the same that uh, uh, this, this is the day, this is the era where uh, everybody is uh, seeing in the internet the different kind of data leakages are happening. And all these data leakages are happening because of uh, the malware issues. People tend to visit some uh, untrusted links and uh, follow uh, the links thereon. Uh, to download some uh, applications uh, which are not which could not be properly vetted but uh, they are they are, appears to be very attractive to the to the end user and during the installation process all these applications basically install some kind of uh, you know uh, kind of stage one payload in the system uh, and which can later be used to uh, push more and more advanced level of payload into the system to compromise the data involved so uh, in this particular video, I'll just uh, I'm not going to give you an in-depth analysis that how uh, you can find out a different kind of IOC or indicator of compromise of your system. But I'll definitely give you a walkthrough of a uh, very important, uh, you know, uh, what I, I must say the tool and that is nothing but the process explorer. Uh, friends, if you go to uh, internet and uh, type the word system internal suit, then you can definitely find out a bunch of tool out there. Uh, this tool will, I think there is one, almost 159 kinds of tools are there for different uh, kinds and purpose, but I'll be focusing only one of them because that, that will definitely help you out in case you also have a doubt in your system is uh, plagued by some kind of malware. So you just uh, go to Syscentral uh, Microsoft site and uh, Google and type the Syscentral and suit, you'll get the link, download the link, it is completely trustworthy, so uh, no uh, doubt about it and you can download the uh, uh, suit. In that suit, after unzipping the file, you will find one uh, file called process explorer 64.exe because my system is say 64 bit. So I'll be just uh, using this one only. You just have to uh, go to the path of your system internal uh, suit extraction path and just uh, type CMD. It will open a command prompt before you. And in that command prompt, you just have to type the PROC and followed by a tab uh, and then you'll ultimately land it to the process explorer 64.exe just by uh, pressing the tab you'll we'll get the different kind of suggestions uh, starting with p and uh, on pressing enter okay it will present to you a gui scale you can see that okay now uh, friends you can see that uh, what kind of things are there and uh, how these things are going to help you uh, this process explorer tool, uh, this process, if we just uh, 
let me remove some of the things over here okay uh, okay first let me remove uh, the lower screen and then i should remove the process from all users so column hit maps i can also select columns different kind of columns is there i can remove the so that you can understand that what i'm going to do over here company name description okay so basically your tool will be going to present this part only it will just uh, show you a different kind of working sets uh, byte uh, the cpus uh, that uh, the process is taking or uh, the process is the name of the processes okay so friends uh, first and foremost thing that uh, you need to find out that what kind of process that is running your system are basically not trustworthy since uh, you know that uh, for uh, all these things you need to install some kind of antivirus in your system okay an antivirus will flag you that this particular uh, this particular exe is not uh, you know beneficial or is uh, showing some malicious behavior based on a different kind of signatures so what you what you can do the process explorer is going to help you with a with a very popular search engine that is called uh, antivirus search engine that is called virus total you just uh, go and uh, select view uh, okay and just see the column set over here and in that column set there is a virus total you just press this virus total okay you have to submit you can see that all the virus total it will sh uh, showing you after submitting the hash because i have already submitted the hash it will just prompt you in hash uh, submission dialog box after submitting the hash uh, the virus total will show you that what kind of uh, you know ex is running how many of those exes are flagged by different kind of uh, antivirus engines you can see that uh, this particular exe the qualm wlan survey it is flagged by one of the so on clicking this let me it has opened the virus total uh, site and it will be see it is showing that jingamin some jingamin vendor analysis has given a flag this exe as in trojan okay so i i also definitely check it out that why it is showing that but at the same time you may search this exe in google also okay just search this exe on the google or web and you will understand that this is basically nothing but the qualcomm ethereum wireless network adapter which i am using in my system and uh, i don't know uh, since it is uh, exploiting exploiting some data that's why it is being flagged as uh, and malware okay but uh, this is the one part of uh, one benefit of this particular uh, explorer uh, process explorer at the same time uh, if you just want to find out where this exe is running from okay so you just go again okay and you can select the columns okay and in the select the columns you have to just click on this command prompt uh, can you see the command prompt here let me yeah the command line on clicking this command line you will find out where this exes are basically running from okay so this exe is running from uh, program files okay you can just just a minute yeah you can just drag it okay so this is going to give you the path path of running this exe okay so uh, that will also help you that where this exe is running from and what kind of things are uh, uh, what kind of uh, the, uh, what kind of uh, uh, path it is using to execute its process so you can go and explore that path this can also be done by just you know clicking on the exe and you can just see that uh, whether anything uh, you know if you just want to find out that what is this exe is all about just you can click the search online here and you can understand uh, the exe and its impact and based on that you can take a decision there whether you want to kill the process or whether you want to uh, take this sample for further analysis and you can give it to some uh, vendor uh, who has got the uh, expertise in the malware research kind of thing so this is the one of the advantage at the same time friends uh, Uh, so suppose some of the exes are connecting internet so you may uh, check that what this exe is uh, connected to internet we just go and uh, go to the properties and you can see that tcp ip see there is no exe right now now i'm i'll be just opening uh, see i'm just uh, trying to show because as we see host.exe is not connecting to internet but uh, you know that uh, we are connected to internet uh, through msh so let's go and uh, check it one more time and uh, see nothing is there so let me try to open a chrome this 
okay and i just uh, let uh, let me type out something okay evil.com suppose okay just to check that whether something is now while doing that and going back to the exes uh, let me check whether the chrome is there or not chrome is yes the chrome is there now you can just go go to chrome uh, and okay chrome is running from this particular path and what is it, it is using gpu is using different kind of things are there the command line with a different kind of uh, you know uh, arguments are there okay so okay let me check resolve addresses now, now this whenever this red is coming that means it is being killed it is being killed that's why uh, it is uh, you have you don't have to worry that why this is happening okay So I need to check one by one everything. So let me check. Yeah. So you can see that uh, there is an UDP uh, path that I can see. Uh, UDP connections are there because I was not checking in the parent process. I was checking in the child process, and some of the, some of the child process might not be taking the entire uh, thing. That's why uh, it, it was showing like that. So you can see that uh, this is being connected to uh, some. Uh, I think UDP protocol is there. Okay. At the same time, it will uh, it will give you the different kind of strings that is in the running mode. That what kind of strings are you with? This is the module uh, that you know the name of that uh, person who has invented uh, uh, the malware research of portable executive research, MZ. Some Russian name is there. Uh, and see if there is something of our interest over here. Uh, we can find out uh, the things sometimes uh, in the different kind of process you can find out see you can see uh, these are all the digital certificates okay these are the digital certificate is uh, given by the uh, different kind of vendors uh, who uh, supplies uh, you know uh, verification ids to the uh, exes at the same time uh, friends if you just go again and uh, go to the select columns and if you just put uh, the company name and verified signer and uh, description okay then you can also find see all these all these legitimate exe will have some kind of uh, some kind of uh, description some kind of company name associated with and there will be definitely some uh, verified signature as well okay that where they have got uh, the different kind of uh, you know like uh, signatures like uh, the ssl certificate they have bought it from so this is this is one of the thing like all these exes are from the microsoft corporation and uh, similarly let me it is i think lagging somewhere so this is the apple device is there so this is from the apple incorporation so this kind of thing this kind of minute checking uh, it it doesn't require a lot of a uh, lot of expertise from uh, an user end uh, this tool is uh, sufficient to give you a uh, a telltale sign that whether your uh, system is uh, uh, compromised with some kind of things or not uh, you may obviously uh, this is not the uh, complete solution for malware checking but this is definitely going to help you a lot uh, before uh, before calling someone uh, before calling an expert to your uh, domain and to your company for a further investigation you may also give some kind of uh, things to them that uh, see we have done this kind of checking and we have noticed this kind of a behavior now it is up to you that we uh, we take the sample and uh, research it further and try to find out whether this particular sample is of any uh, harm or not okay so friends i find i hope that you have found uh, the things uh, so far uh, very interesting and uh, at the same time knowledge uh, bearing as well so um, before i uh, sum up i again want to tell you that uh, uh, if you are if you at all uh, get some kind of links from internet please do not download in your main system you can create a virtual box for yourself and you download everything from there uh, that will be a kind of a sandbox environment uh, if it is definitely of a very high value kind of thing uh, because some of the user might comment that what if uh, that uh, particular exe of zero day uh, yes definitely friends that is that is the, that three uh, threats will always uh, prevail uh, zero day will not be flagged by any antivirus engine uh, but at the same time yes uh, the thing that i have told just now that you can uh, definitely have a virtual box 
and in VirtualBox you keep uh, do all the testing and uh, downloading the untrusted things. And once you uh, confirm that this is not a uh, you know a suspicious behavior, then only you should bring into the main system. Okay. But at the same time, I'll say that whatever the thing that you are downloading from the uh, internet, it should never be on the main system. It should always be on uh, your VirtualBox. Uh, friends, uh, before I sum up, uh, before uh, finally, I'm just uh, telling you that. Uh, I'm extremely sorry that I could not uh, keep up with my promise in last two months, but I'll try to be uh, more consistent now onwards. And at the same time, I definitely uh, want to give my utmost regard to all my dedicated viewers or limited viewers, whatever I have managed to manage to accumulate in this uh, period of my journey of YouTube. Uh, uh, please uh, keep share, keep supporting me. And I'll try not to let you down. And if you uh, have again and again uh, told you that if you find that say, any of the content is improvement or if you know, want to uh, have a video on a particular content or want to venture in some uh, particular field of uh, cyber security, please let me know. I'll definitely come up with some nice idea and uh, a nice video and hands on on that particular topic. Uh, so thank you, friends. Thank you for your time and have a great day.